I know you gonna dig this. Get, get, fu- get funky with me. Everybody, how are you doing today? So here I am in Chicago, Illinois, just in the shadows of Wrigley Field, just, just over there. It's not too far. Everybody's up for the baseball game today. I made it through the traffic all the way from South uh, Chicago, all the way up to the North Side, and the cemetery was locked. And that is never good because small town cemeteries, like I said before, they stay open until whatever time. Gates are open until usually sundown, sometimes 24 hours. But in the city. They do close at a certain time, but I thought, this is such a small cemetery. I've got time to film other things and get up here. It was locked. Thankfully, let's just say, uh, the guy that let me in, who works here, a uh, little bit of Canadian charm. I hate to say it, but I don't know if it's Canadian charm, right, my buddy? It was flesh. It was just a little, <laughs> it was a little bit of... I would say so. I, I just said to him, I've, I've come a long way for this, and it's something important to me. And, what a nice gentleman to, to let us in yeah. after hours. and uh, Yeah, that was really nice of him. Yeah. So if you don't know Midwest Flash, this is a guy that I've been friends with for years. Steel City Storm, this is his brother. Midwest Flash is the only man to ever tattoo me. We're going to do that again tomorrow. We are. <laughs> so we were driving out today. We had a whole project planned oh. here, here. Right? We had a oh. huge thing we were planning on doing. And it fell apart because... I'm not even going to say what it is because we still may try to do it one it day. It was stormy. It was stormy. Like, the rain was, it, like, you're going to see some of the inserts I put in for this video. You're going to see some, like, the camera was just getting soaked. And Man, it was pouring in. And it, some of the locations didn't look like we thought they were going to look like. It, it really threw a wrench in the yeah. program. It sure did. So we're talking about other things. that Because he has a channel, and it's great. He has a lot of the same things I do. And he found this story, just came across it, and he started telling me the story of the, the video he did. And I found it instantly fascinating. And the story is of Faith Bacon, who was a fan dancer. 1920s, 1930s era. She was huge. She was it. She was... Some even call her the most beautiful woman in the world at the time. Right. She uh, was very, very famous. She fell on some bad times, and uh, she ended up killing herself, jumping out of a building, right. which we right. did yep. today. Yep, we're going to get to that, yeah. Uh-huh. And... Uh, Yep. Oh, I think we got a gentleman visiting us here. Hold on one second. So we just got interrupted by, by a nice gentleman who was helping, because you're looking for somebody else, but we won't say who it is. Right. That's buried here. That's very difficult I've to find. I've so many times. And one of the, another volunteer worker just came over and started talking to us and, and said, we were, we were tired earlier. Yeah, yeah. And wanted to help us. So this cemetery is really old, and yeah. it fell under disrepair and, and vandalism back in the day, a long time ago. So now... It's primarily run by volunteers. Right. So, th- th- thankfully, they're nice yeah. enough lesson. Yeah. And then coming back over to help and think, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was cool. And you're telling me that. something else. There's a, 
We'll go to we'll go drive past on the end. There's a crematorium. Uh, sorry, a crematorium or is no, it a mausoleum? It's a crypt. A crypt. Outdoor crypt. It was vandalized years ago. Mm-hmm. Kids went in there and spread the bones all over the place outside the. Yeah, and so they had to block it up. So now they pretty much keep a good eye on this place. Yeah, it's but, a really nice cemetery. It's right mm-hmm. in the middle of like the hustle bustle of Chicago. There's yeah. no doubt. Yeah, but it doesn't seem like it. And right across the street that way is Greenwood Cemetery. Graceland. Graceland Cemetery. Sorry, Greenland. Graceland wow, Cemetery. Big wigs. Yeah, Chicago. Ernie Banks is there. A few other big, a few other stars, but also mostly Chicago yep. politicians and yep. people People that have made city. Chicago what it is today. Right, right. Yep. So Faith Bacon, she was born where? She was born in LA. She was born in LA. Uh, her parents divorced divorced at an early age. She left her mom, ended up what? in New York. Right. Her mom got her into dancing. And Didn't she go to Paris and that's where she fell in love Paris. with music? She, yeah. That's where she seemed like the feather, the dancing. And she really wanted to get into dancing. With no formal training, came back to the United States, start dancing, and she became one of the biggest sought after fan burlesque dancers of all time. She used to dance nude. With the feathers and the fans, right. and she was arrested on stage in New York a couple times for it. But she came to Chicago, and and back in the day, like Big Jim Colosimo, he used to hire her to come play at his club, which Jim Colosimo was the boss of of Chicago before sure. Al Capone then yeah. killed him and took over. Mm-hmm. But then she was at the State Street Theater, and I'm putting a shot of the State Street. State Stop there Street. today. State Street Theater right now, how it looks. And she had fell through a glass drum or something. She was yeah, standing drum. on yeah. performing and cut her legs up bad. And after that, it was like kind of her downfall of her career. Nobody wanted to hire her. She was getting older. She had scars on her legs. She was going through some bad times. They even said she became like a bag lady and was yeah. begging for money. And they actually used that term, bag lady. They did. Which you don't hear that much anymore because we were reading that. Another to famous other. dancer, seeing yeah. her outside of a a stage door when they were leaving through the alley and she was begging for change yeah. and she recognized her. That was in Seattle where that right. happened. Yes, the so, Rivoli Theater. Yep, Rivoli Theater. And yeah. she ended up back in Chicago trying to bring her career back up. And uh, But she had those, like we were talking, she had the sheer tights but they had little tiny, like chiffon they called chiffon, it. Chiffon, like, but dark in parts and that's where she would disguise tried, her. Try to cover her, her scars, scars. her legs, yeah, in New York. So it was a combination kind of, but also she was, uh, was she, was she, she did abuse some drugs, yes? Yeah, they say, yeah, and they found her unconscious before. Yeah. Well, that was another part, when she left New York, she came to Indiana, actually, mm-hmm. tried to start a dance school. They, seen, they found her unconscious, tried, she, right. like, overdosed, and that was the end of that. So she came back to Chicago, tried to get back on her feet, just didn't work for her, you know? Yeah, she, I mean, she was uh, famous for in her, tw- when she was in her 20s and early 30s, but that's when the accident happened on the stage yeah. with the drum, and then... It was a short... That, huge career and then all of a sudden she's wandering around the country almost yeah, destitute yeah. and and it's just one of those stories you know you know you could be on top of the world one second and one right. little thing happened you're done you know and then the next great thing comes along and you're just forgotten yeah. so she died a broken woman you know and she ended up staying with a friend in an apartment where we went the old mm-hmm. allen hotel she jumped out a window to her death right well she died later now let's talk night. about that let's take a walk over to her grave okay. because so she Jumped out of a third floor window. 1946? Was it 1946? Uh, 56. 56. So yeah, so she eventually, let's walk to the grave. So she... She landed on a roof of a building next to her where she jumped and uh, she suffered a, uh, a fractured skull, internal bleeding. She ended up dying later on that night in the hospital. But when she died, she had like 85 cents to her name. Right. She had like just a few possessions on her, some clothes. Some clothes and a cheap ring. Yep. That a metal ring. 85 cents and she was on top of the world at one point dating some of the richest men yeah and she had a big rivalry with the father feather dancer everybody knows of her sally rand she became more famous she was in more movies uh and you know that was it man that's it it was but a feud when we're looking at the hotel like i'm going to put some shots in right now what we were filming the third floor Doesn't this is what high. i found fascinating the third floor is, is not that high mm-hmm. so and so a friend of hers, the friend that she was saying was trying to pull, trying Try to keep her from jumping her out the skirt. window. And she broke free. But she broke free and jumped out. Now, that to me suggests that if you're jumping from the third floor window, you're in so much distress mentally that you're not thinking about the fact that if you die. go a little higher, you're going to die. Right. But from the third floor, you're go- you're going to make, you're yeah. gonna, you may not die. But that was the floor that they lived on. You yeah. Know? But I mean, if she went to the roof, if she went to another floor. Right. So it shows to me that she was in such a state of depression and despair. Jump. She 
jump from the third floor, yeah. not thinking about the consequences. Because if you're, uh, sadly, if you're trying to commit suicide, you're going to go. Oh, yeah. You're you want to do go, it right. You, you know? want to do it right. You suffer. To, right. And that's what. I mean, I, three stories, that's still 30-something feet. Yeah, 30-something feet. But, but she, and she landed on the, the. A roof of the first which floor. Couldn't have, which would have been. 20-something feet. Yeah. So it's, maybe she fell on like 10, 15 yeah. feet. It's, there's not a lot of information, but there is this picture. It's a little graphic, but I'm going to put it in right now. They're carrying off the roof. They're carrying yeah. off the roof. And you can see that it's not that high. It's not. But it's a very, very, it's just, we had a really good discussion about this in the car, about celebrity. You're on top of the world, and everybody thinks, you know, the world of you. But yeah, and then something happens, like an accident. She cut her yeah. legs, scarred. She's no longer wanted. <laughs> And tossed you're, aside, you're, you're 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 damaged goods, you know. Yeah, pretty much. And you said an artist uh, society paid, paid for, for her, her grave, funeral, for her grave. grave. Yep. So it's right around so here. So she's somewhere. right around here. Let's see. So we'll take a look for her. But we've been out here. I think you've been out here. It might be right here. Right around by this tree. Hmm. It's right around here. Let's see. All the trees kind of look the same in this area. Yeah. It's been like a year since we'll I've been here. We'll split up and we'll at least take a look. So it looks like here, some of it was a Cubs fan. You can see the Cubs uh, insignia on there. But Midwest Flesh does a great channel. You're going to want to check it out. Uh, we, he just got to about a thousand subscribers recently, which is a big, big uh, deal for YouTubers. I remember getting to a thousand subscribers. It's very difficult. So I'm um, proud of my friend. And you'll love his channel. He does great stuff and has so many stories to tell. And I think you should really subscribe to his channel, please. And if you're ever in the uh, Portage, Indiana area, go get a tattoo. It's never as easy as a scene, but we're doing this in real time. Here she is. We're looking in real time. We got her. Yep. We got her. Yep, here she is. Wow. There she is. 46 years old. Back to visit you again, Faith. (laughs) Yeah. The rose on there. 1910 and 1956. And Dickinson was her estranged husband's name. Right, that's an interesting story too. It, it you were was, telling me about her husband. They never really lived together, and they didn't stay together. I mean, they said that they never even lived together. Right, you said that her mother spread a rumor that she was that, that her daughter was gay, so that men wouldn't hit on her. Yeah, that's right. When and, she started dancing and stuff. Yeah. Yep, because the men were all over her. She was young. Her mom got her dancing when she was about fourteen years old. Right. Lied about her age and all this. Yeah, but. That's yeah. crazy. There and then is. so but then the fact that she didn't live with her husband makes it seem like hmm, I wonder what's she was all over. He had money too. Yeah, he's a rich dude, right? Yeah, he was a a, a, a music producer and and uh, author or something like that. And then I mean, she dies and nobody's there to take care of her, to claim her body. That's you know, sad, that man. Mother that probably you know, maybe was I'm not sure if it was alive, but mother and then the husband, nobody. Yeah, he's buried in Los Angeles. I, I looked him. Oh. I mean, it's sad. She was so beautiful too, man. Oh, she was. I mean, she was. but you guys see the pictures in here, you know. I'm sure you've seen them already, but yeah, there it is. That's Faith Bacon. Yeah, that's her. Sad ending to a such a right. I don't know, such a talented. I don't know if you would say talented, but you know, it's 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 that um. Thing like what I've talked about before on videos, like when pe- when celebrities, when she was a huge celebrity at the time, yeah, they make money. The but even today, when celebrities make money on a movie or a TV show, people think, oh, they haven't made. They're so rich, but no, the money goes fast. It goes to agents. It goes to living. It. it she. If you only do one or two projects a year, but if you're dancing, even back in the day, that money's not going to last long, and you got to stay when you're safe. Save. with your money, you know, like she yeah. was. Like we were talking about when she fell through that glass case and cut her legs, she sued the state theater for like five or settled for five grand. She spent it all on a diamond ring. Yeah, she, she sued them for 150000 right? And, and she settled for 5000 over 5000 And spent it like within a day or so. Bought, and bought, uh, bought a ring. 10 carat diamond ring or something like that. That's not thinking ahead. That's no. not to judge Faith here, but I mean, 
It's too, I mean, it's then sad. she wandered around for a good 10, that, 10 years just trying to find something else. And, it's that fast life, you know? Yeah. And, uh, not growing up, like, she grew up moving around. Yeah. And, you know, it's just... Because yeah. I, I, they, they didn't say... I've not been able to find any information since you told me the story a few hours ago. And you didn't either. If she was on drugs or drinking when she died, but it doesn't seem like she was. Seems I don't think like, she was. Yeah. She was just distraught, you know? Yeah. And then she was even, before she died, she was working at some local bar, uh, bartending, serving drinks, yeah. you know? And there's also a picture of her in New York City with a deer. <laughs> with a little deer. <laughs> yeah. But that was after she was cut up. And, and yeah. she got, but that was where she got arrested, right? Yeah, and there's for, pictures of her being booked in yeah. the jail and all that. Yeah. So, and there was some controversy about whether or not she was actually naked under the feathers, right? Because the way her dance was, every time she would move that way, she would have that covered up. Right. Or this or that covered up. You and know it was what I mean? so smooth. People yeah, were like, she was no. Like, and she was the best at it, yeah. too. So, yeah. Oh, Faith Bacon. It, it was a story I really got fascinated with, you know? Yeah, it's, it's so, it's, I'm glad you told me. It's a really yeah, interesting it's, story. It's, and it's a, it's a sad, I mean, it's a nice, well-kept cemetery now. Look at but, that over there. Are you going to feel there? <laughs> yeah. You've but got an idea where we're at. When you think about it, like, such a big star at the time. Mm -hmm. And then here we are at the very back of a cemetery. Not in her hometown, not where she was born, no family around her. Mm -hmm. This right? is where she ended up. And this is it. And like you said, her she was broke when she died and uh like the performers guild or something, something like that. Yeah. They, artists paid for her funeral and her, her plot and her headstone and everything. Which which happens before I, I've done a few videos where artist societies have paid for funerals or things like that, but you gotta wonder like are they isn't there a place for aging artists? to get money to get out there there are homes that they can go live in oh, really? ones in la new jersey for sure yeah art, for uh first for, for actors they, who were just at the end of their life instead of a senior's home they go into a home for i old think there's a, uh, something like that from old magicians too probably i i think i've seen that before where they yeah. kind of look out for them you know like you know i know your heyday's over and you're struggling but we're here we're here to you know help you out you know still yeah well i if heard it wasn't for you we wouldn't be here you know what i mean yeah you know? of course yep yeah. there she is it's faith bacon i wish i had a feather to bring her right yeah that's Next what we're time. talking about if we had a feather i mean i leave a rock at every grave as per custom in my traditions that i grew up with but a feather would have been nice mm -hmm. but i just wanted to say as a quick aside to make it uh because this joke is in my head and if i don't get it out it's gonna bother me uh the old magician's homes that you talk about, uh -huh. I heard they all disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's, it, I, can't, I can't not say it if it's in my head. <laughs> but we're, <laughs> like, there it is. There it is. Hey, by faith, there she is. Yeah, faith bacon. Beautiful, and I mean, Man. doing something at a time when nobody else was really doing stuff like that. She was very risque, the world for like ten years, burlesque, was... and just. And her reign, like, on top of the world and everything, didn't last long. i say about 10 years, 15 at the most, you know? Yeah. And then it was all downhill after that. That's too and bad. she died a broken person, you know? Yeah. And it's sad. But we're here to visit you, Faith. Rest in peace. Nice. All right, so Steve, Midwest Flash. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks for telling me the story. Yeah, man, my pleasure, man. I'm glad to see you again. Glad yeah. you're back in town. Glad we got the chance to hang out. Of course. We got tomorrow coming. And, um... You'll see more Steve on my channel. You've seen me before on my channel if you're a longtime subscriber. And his brother, uh, Steel City Storm. Make sure you subscribe to both their channels. I'll put the link below. And uh, yeah, we'll be hanging out a lot. Rest in peace, uh, Faith Bacon. What a story. Yeah. What a story. It's a great one. Yeah, it's, it's just. The pictures of her are just. I, I was I was hooked as yeah. soon as I found about, about yeah, it. Yeah, I watched his video. We, we pulled outside the road and watched his video. Uh, how long would you do your video? What's that? How long ago did you did you do your um, video? I finished it at the beginning of this summer, I believe, spring. But I started it last year, but I came out here a couple times, couldn't find her, and then I finally found her. And your wife, you were said, you're, you're obsessed. You're still yeah, working on this like, one. You can you're still working on the story. Like, I haven't obsessed, found her yeah. yet. Yeah. <laughs> but I did all the other locations, and the grave was the last thing I found. You yeah, know? you found them all. Yeah. Thanks, yep. man. Cool. cool. All, all right. Brother. Peace. Rest in peace, faith making. Peace out.